Rennie Smith and Alfie Potter will play in advance of them in what they these days call a box midfield with Josh Parker up top, their top scorer with 11 goals. Quickly, um, an Oxford player hooks it over his head up towards Josh Parker, who's doing well to hold it up. The players are not on the same wavelength there. They've lost out in an attacking left-sided position. And uh, Josh Parker all the way back, helping his teammates out. Oh, ball given away. Tolage pokes towards goal. And uh, it's cleared. It was a poor pass inside their own area. Tolage pounced, and he's pounced on one or two like that this season. Corner then to shots to be taken by Stokes. He feints to do the short one. And then he does do the short one, goes back to Tetek. Tetek inside to Harfield. Harfield's going to clip a ball into the far post. Monogas up and gets his header just wide of the target. Lands on the roof of the net. And uh, Aldershot's second opportunity within a minute, but it remains nil-nil. And uh, while well, those words came back the following week because uh, they, were, they got beaten 5-1 at, at Oldham. Uh, Stokes with the ball inside to O'Keefe, takes the ball on the turn, threads it back through to Daly. Daly's in, squares it across. Tolladge turns it in, and the shots are ahead. Goal number 22 of a prolific season for the Swiss striker. Coming just past the 11th minute mark, and it was all too easy in the making. O'Keefe involved, Daly with the assist, and Tolladge applies the finish. Oxford City nil. Aldershot Town won. What a great goal that was for the shot. Some great play down left-hand side here. O'Keefe linking up with James Daly. James Daly putting a brilliant ball across to Laurent Tolaj, who's always reliable, treading inside the six-yard box, ready to tap home anything that comes to his feet. And he was there yet again to score his 22nd goal of the season. Here's Rowe out to the right-hand side to Tyler Frost. He exchanges passes with Dayan Tetek. And he goes back to Monoga, who uses Rowe. And uh, Rowe tries a shot, actually. And uh, it's just wide of the mark. And it was from within his own half, Freddie. Uh, I think the first time I've seen him attempt that this season. And uh, from the Oxford uh, City fans' point of view, not only are they sort of strewn all around the ground like the Shots fans and not really in one heavy cluster, um, there's not really any kind of atmosphere. It was a poor clearance and Lot Tolladge is... Oh, lifted the ball onto the roof of the net. And it's the second time in the opening 17 minutes that Ox... Well, it's the third time at least that they've given it away in their own final third, but second time it's led to a, an effort on goal and Tolladge wasn't far away of the uh, opening 26 minutes. Yeah, they've advanced up the pitch. They've got themselves a throw in high up. Let's see if they can make anything from it. Yeah, the ball's uh, thrown in back to Bert Whistle, gets a cross in, Parker touches it back out, Alfie Potter's going to try a shot, he feints for it, then a shot does come in, that's blocked, headed away by Glover, headed on again from his own header, and then hooked back into the area, and smashed in for Oxford City, player arriving out of nowhere, absolutely perfectly timed his run. And it's Lewis Coyle who just arrives like... Uh, Johnny or Lewis on the spot and Oxford City with their first foray really deep into Aldershot Town's half as a team uh, 26 and a half minutes gone Oxford City won shots won and shots have got to go and do all their good work again Stokes feeds Tolage on the right hand side gives it back to Stokes turns it back inside to Tolage Tolage switches inside shot left footed is half cleared smothered behind by Watson and it's Tolage's fourth effort in the opening 28 minutes and Aldershot Town's fourth corner about to follow that. Here's Oxford City in their own half, lost out possession to Tolledge, turns it around the corner to Stokes. Stokes pokes it towards goal and it's in. And late and reluctant cheers, but Aldershot have retaken the lead. And yet again, it's that partnership of Tolledge and Stokes. Stokes had no room to work in, but he just read it's like he put it through his computer and processed it and said, OK, keep us coming out this far. When he gets here, I'll just prod it. And it prods and trickles and bobbles along and eventually finds the back of the net for his 18th goal of the season. Oxford City one, Aldershot Town two. And we've already had some post-match from that, from manager Mark White and from Tom Blair. If you want to tune in again at full time in this game, you'll hear from uh, Jason Pryor and... Alfie Rutherford too is a lovely move developing for the shots. O'Keefe's got it, he's into the right-hand side of the penalty area. Daly shoots, 
A little bit scuffed, a little bit weak, on target, gathered low down by Tom Watson. The shot's first effort of the second half. Water shot take the corner short, half field, into Glover, holding the ball up. Has that gone out of play? No, he keeps it in, goes back, but uh, Tetek will be the one that picks it up. Clips it up in towards the penalty area, Cle half cleared away. Stokes might pick it up on the edge of the air, tries a shot, and it's only just wide. A little bit of a snapshot, a little bit of a half volley. Watson dived away to his right and uh, probably missed that right-hand post by uh, a yard or two. Well... If all the results stay as they are, it'll be a good afternoon for Aldershot Town, but they need to get the job done. Is Gandor holding the ball up, poking it back to Tolaj, turns it inside to Tetek. He might be able to thread it out to the left to Glover, who may be able to take on Burt Whistle one-on-one -on -one into the penalty area. And I'm not sure, I think he was setting up for a shot, but he's ended up crossing it out to the right and finding Frost. Frost finds Stokes. Stokes gives it back to Frost. Can he square it across? He can. It's parried up in the air by the Oxford goalkeeper and then headed away, but only as far as Ollie Harfield. Harfield finds Glover. Can the shots get a third here to put this one to bed? In it comes to the far post. Headed clear. Only as far as Frost who volleys. Oh, back off the post into the path of Tolad who almost gets it under control. And Oxford City clear their lines. Harfield out to the left-hand side. Frost so, so close. Again, shooting from that angle on the right-hand side. I'm not sure if it's a foot or the post that cleared it. Give their fans a relatively calm finish to the afternoon by creating a third. Here's Barrett running across the edge of the area. Goes back out to Frost. Frost down the right-hand side of the penalty area. Clips it in and it's headed wide. And uh, just confirm, was that Gandor or Thomas who made the contact? Kwame Thomas. It was Kwame Thomas who headed it wide. It looked like a good ball and he looked like he made good contact with it. But uh, in the 88th minute, another chance goes begging. Aldershot, uh, I beg your pardon, uh, that's a dream. Uh, Liverpool were nil-nil at Nottingham Forest going into the last minute. Is Giles Phillips racing through the middle, tries a shot and it's gathered by Van Stapperscher. Virtually the first save he's had the chance to make all afternoon and thankfully he makes it. Let's the throw in go. Uh, Rowe comes through and wins a header. There is the final whistle and perhaps the biggest cheer of the afternoon. 